Welcome to this video where we'll discuss database options for GKE users. We'll cover what your options are and focus on two managed databases, Cloud SQL and Cloud Spanner, and see whether these might be right for your cluster requirements. Before we continue, you should already be familiar with what stateless and stateful applications are, as well as the differences between relational and non-relational databases. Now, there are different types of workloads you can run in GKE, including stateless and stateful applications. If you're using stateful applications in your cluster, then you'll need a database, as these apps need to store data. Let's review the options you have for running a database on the Google Cloud Platform. You could opt for a self-managed database, a database on GKE itself, or a fully managed database. In this video, we'll focus on fully managed databases. Compared with the other two options, this type of database requires the least effort from you to operate and manage. You just need to create the database, build your app, and Google Cloud takes care of the rest. Installation, upgrades, storage, as well as many of the maintenance tasks like backups and scaling. This option makes it a lot easier to deploy and scale your database servers. Google Cloud provides several database options to cover all database use cases, from relational to non-relational database needs, and even in memory. Each database has its own features, and the type you'll need depends on your specific use case. If you're looking for a database option for your GKE clusters, Cloud SQL and Cloud Spanner are great choices. Using a fully managed database server outside your GKE cluster can make your applications more highly available and allows for more complex scenarios, like having your apps spread across multiple clusters. Both Cloud SQL and Spanner are fully managed services with a high level of availability, scalability, and performance. So how do you know which database fits your needs better? Let's take a look at two fictitious organizations. EasyShop is a Finnish-based e-commerce company using GKE to host the services they build. They want to migrate their thousands of databases from their on-prem data centers to Google Cloud with minimal downtime and want to easily connect to the database from GKE. Their developers are familiar with PostgreSQL, so EasyShop would prefer a managed database that is compatible with this system. GameWizards is a company that uses GKE to build games. For them, Data integrity and availability are critical needs for a database. They don't want to spend too much time on administration or scalability issues. Rather, they prefer to focus on game development and user experience. Game Wizards is launching a new game shortly and anticipates a huge increase in player base across the globe over the next few months. So they are looking for a database that can handle massive amounts of data with extremely low latency. Cloud SQL is a good choice for EasyShop, as it provides a fully managed environment for specific database engines, including PostgreSQL. It's the more cost-effective choice for an organization that requires a high level of availability and performance, but doesn't need to scale beyond a single region. On the other hand, Cloud Spanner is a good fit for game wizards. They need a globally distributed relational database that can handle large amounts of data for a successful game launch. With Spanner, there is no fixed size limit, so it can grow as the business grows. You can see from these examples how Cloud SQL and Spanner can serve different business needs. Spanner is unique as it has the benefits of relational databases with the horizontal scalability you would normally expect from a non-relational database. It's best suited for apps such as gaming, retail banking, payment solutions, any large-scale global applications where you require unlimited scalability and strong consistency. Cloud SQL is more suited for smaller-scale database requirements, such as general-purpose web frameworks, e-commerce apps, and so on. Whichever platform you choose, though, both database options offer easy integration with GKE. First, you'll set up a database instance and create the database. Then, you'll set up a service account that will be used by GKE to connect to the database of your choice. Once you deploy your applications in the GKE cluster, they will connect to the database instance. Using a fully managed database in Google Cloud simplifies the process of provisioning and maintaining the database, 
and frees up your resources so you can focus on building your applications. For more detailed steps on how to connect your GKE applications to either Cloud SQL or Cloud Spanner, check out our documentation. Thanks for watching.